Hi everyone and welcome to Gakoni TV. Yeah, today I thought I should talk about the last king of Scotland. Of course, uh, the movie about uh, this Scottish doctor who gets intertwined in a men's world in the 70s and uh, escalates in Uganda. It's uh, the movie shot in Uganda. And yeah, tell the story of Dr. Garrigan and his escapades with uh, Idi Amin and the like. Um, a few anomalies though. Um, right at the start, Dr. Garrigan uh, is doing his globe thing, trying to find where he will go next. And uh, after dismissing Canada, he lands on Uganda, but on the map it shows um, Soroti, which is uh, the northern part of Uganda, somewhere around Lake Tukana, next door in Kenya. So that was a bit confusing for me. Otherwise, um, I thought the movie was not too bad. Um, well, it didn't differ so much from the rise and fall of Idi Amin. I mean, story wise, I didn't see much of a difference seem to repeat the whole story of uh, the rise and fall of Idi Amin um, but uh, I think it was delicately told it was um, definitely Wichek uh, deserved his Oscar and uh, overall uh, I was impressed by Abi Mochivi, the Ugandan that plays um, Masanga uh, I mean, driver who later on turns his personal security man. That was quite interesting. Uh, I think he did a very good job. Um, he didn't seem overawed by the presence of Hollywood and everything. He, he held his own. Uh, I, I felt the movie left me wanting for more. I don't know why. I just Maybe because I know, <laughs> being Ugandan, I know too much about Uganda. And um, I just felt it was, the story was a bit too shallow for me. I don't know why. I just um, oversimplified um, life um, and how things were done then, you know. Because uh, Dr. Garrigan seemed like a kind of <laughs> playboy to begin with. I don't think as a white man you would fare so well in um, especially among the ladies. I don't like in the start where he's on a bus and then he gets uh, meets this girl and then they get back to her place and on his first day in Uganda uh, they go back to her place and uh, he has his one night stand and off he goes. Uh, it's not that easy, believe me, no, especially for a white man. You, maybe, of course, there's uh, people selling sex and uh, prostitutes and that kind of thing. Maybe that, but your average Ugandan girl wouldn't sleep with uh, a white man on a first night. I don't know. I don't think so. That is a bit far-fetched. But uh, overall, well, any chance for Uganda to get into Hollywood <laughs> is welcomed. But I thought the story could have been deeper. It was, uh, it was all over the place. Um, and I don't know, I really it left me wanting. Um, they could have done a better job, but hey, we take, uh, didn't do too bad. Is up the Oscar, definitely. Yeah, that's what I felt about it. Encourage other Ugandans to watch it. Tell me what you think. You know, you could drop a comment. Uh, that's my opinion about it. But you could tell me whether you liked it or not. And uh, we can take it from there. Thanks for watching. I've been Eddie, your host, Yakoni TV. Bye-bye.